sure to check out the first two pictures, even if that means you have to pause the video. The first picture was sent to me by a woman named Beverly, who sent me another one almost exactly the same about a year or so ago, and another one this week. At the time, I knew it was some form of energy, but did not understand why these were so different from the thousands of other pictures people send to me. Notice in the second picture, taken by a different person in different parts of the country, with different cameras and under different circumstances, circumstances captured the things. This video is about Barbara Cannon's story. Barbara is a psychic medium from a long family line of mediums. Her children are also psychic and have the ability to speak to and see spirits. Barbara channels and does readings and is experiencing some fantastic light anomalies as well as other photographic experiences. A rope-like anomaly started to appear right after a channeling session and it has stayed with her ever since and is typically caught close to her bedroom on the outside of her home or extremely close to her in photographs. My first I inclination was that it was the strap from the camera itself, but checking with Barbara, this was not the case. In the later photos, you will see what appears to be extra people. These photos were taken with different cameras, so this is not a camera malfunction. Barbara has experienced by both by using her night vision option and at other times with the night option turned off and by using a completely different camera and we'll go into the and I'll go into that the reason for this later in the video. I want to start with the fact that I believe there are two separate things happening in Barbara's life, but for now I want to concentrate strictly on the light anomalies. As stated earlier, Beverly was the first person I came across that was able to capture these strands of energy. I only know of one other man who has ever caught them on several occasions. Keeping in mind that Barbara does channeling, and she was kind enough to send me pictures wherein you can clearly see what looks like a thick streak or tunnel of energies coming from the sky and into her body while she was channeling outside, as well as various other streak anomalies. About a month a half ago, I had an international research organization call me concerning a person they were working with in another country and a possible similarity to a prior experience I personally had. When Barbara sent this picture, I forwarded the pic and her stories to the research group to see if they have knowledge or have experienced other people who were getting this type of energy. Despite they work around the world. There were only three other people that seemed to capture these anomalies. When I went to an orb conference in England, I had the pleasure of meeting a fantastic woman who has a master's degree in physics, specializing in cosmology and quantum physics, and a PhD in archaeology, researching ancient cosmologies and studies consciousness and metaphysics. She is a healer and a teacher at the College of Physics Studies in London, an author and a lecturer. I purchased a book by her that had the same picture on the cover. Synchronicity brought Beverly's first picture the same week that I received the book from Amazon. Because I believe that since the picture was used on the book cover, it must be somehow connected to quantum physics, so I wrote a letter to June giving her the background of Barbara and sent a picture to see how off, how she as a quantum physicist would explain it. Her response is as follows. Dear Joyce, not only could you not call me, but I haven't been able to connect to the HTTP link you gave me for the additional photos. However, from the first photo you sent in your further description, they appear to me to be coherent streams of light embedded information. They seem like a pulsed and low energy version of a laser. That's the best description I can offer. Even though lasers travel in straight lines and these appear to weave and thus able to encode high levels of data, this would make sense if they appear when Barbara is channeling and thus receiving information from a higher 
vibrational source. I hope this helps with love and all best wishes, Jude. Having studied for this subject for years now, that response more than satisfied my need to hear from someone with outstanding credentials and who I admire for their continuous work in physics and consciousness, the driving force in my life, the reason for our sight, and the proof of consciousness existing beyond and before the physical plane we live. But by now, Barbara started getting a new type of anomaly. The mystery is still ongoing. Because I am so into experiments with the electronic equipment, I suggested Barbara get an EMF detector and take pictures in different ways and using different cameras. In front of her house is a triangle where multiple people show up. I teasingly call it Barbara's Bermuda Triangle. At first, I thought maybe we were seeing an OBE in the works, but in some pictures, even the one person's picture is being taken, other people will show up in the photographs. A couple of the people Barbara has been able to recognize as being her transition mom and aunt, but there are others she does not recognize. This is only happening within the triangle. Both cam cameras that are being used only produce this type of picture within the triangle, but work fine in any other part of her property or inside her home. My first thought was that if the person quickly moved and the night vision was turned on, then the shutter would stay open longer and perhaps this could be a reason for some of the pics. After turning off the night vision, there is no way a regular digital camera will make a double or multiple image unless it happens as explained above, but will not happen when the shutter closes quickly. Barb was more than willing to try the various ways to rule out camera malfunctions or camera movement. Strong backlighting behind any object in front of a strong flash can also produce anomalies, but not of this type. And as you can see from the photographs, there is no uh, strong backlighting. Please continue to part two for further information on the happenings of Barbara. Thank you.